Hello, my Aries, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. And yes, I am Debbie. We're going to be reading for February 17th, 18th, and 19th. And this is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, I've done an overview about Have Faith. Um, it was an interesting one. I'm, you know, I always, my titles always resonate with whatever I am reading. So, you know, we had some really positive and weird energies at the same time. Now, I do also an overview of what's going on in the world with my reading, and I do what's going on in the skies. Now, I also tell you about myself a little bit and tell you that these are general readings. Give you a reminder, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Now, um, it, blah, 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 Venus is transitioning into Aries. It could be a very fiery type of transition. It could be a very positive energy. It could just be a very passionate energy. So let's see what we've got going on. Higher power, what would you like to tell my Aries? Well, also to remember, we're entering into Pisces season. This is the end of the astrological season, the astrological year, and then Aries, you begin the new year. And in March is where a lot of interesting things will be happening so let's see higher power holy spirit what else would you like to give what do you want to tell for our aries so here we go now the king of fire is about looking at the big picture it is your energy um, but remember to oh and all three cards are reversed so this has some strong stuff to it strong message so the king's underlying energy is our swords, it's our air, it's Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Things are happening in, in Aquarius and in Gemini. Things are starting to heat up a little bit more in Libra. Nothing really you can put your finger on yet, but it, things are starting to happen. But Aquarius and Gemini thought processes, thinking things through, making some plans, really might even be hearing news. Fire energy is your energy, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, it is passionate, burning, very determined. Remember, you have Jupiter in your sign, so it is a very, it's a big sign of enlargement, good fortune. And now you have Venus, which is about relationships, love, and caring energy. Um, though she she can be a little bit, uh, she can be a little bit cruel in what she does. You know, she can be a little cruel in getting her own way. But all of it has action to it. All of it has, you know, possibilities. All of it is really very, very focused. The king of fire is going to tell you that you need to look bigger. Don't look at the micro details. Don't look at the small stuff. You need to look bigger. You need to know that there is more to happen. Don't, you know, again, I don't like to tell people to look too much into the future because, you know, in the, the past is where depression lives. The future is where anxiety lives. You need to be present. You, know, you need to be living in the present. It does not mean that you can't have hopes, dreams, goals because the king of fire is one of those, you know, you can see, King of Fire is a motivational speaker. The King of Fire, you know, pushes you to better, to be bigger and better than what you even are. So, motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. The King of Fire is also looking at the bigger picture, okay? I do love, I don't really, you know, I do love how this King has subdued the dragon. I not I don't, you know, I don't necessarily know that he's, you know, he hasn't done anything to hurt the dragon, but he's riding the dragon. He is, you know, he is the one that's in charge. So, it's been a while. Uh you've gone back and forth a little bit with, you know, you know, feeling confident and not feeling confident, then feeling confident. This is a weekend. This is, you know, this Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Please, I hope that you feel confident in what you're doing and where you're going. There's a lot of confidence with this King of Fire. Your next card here, reversed again, is the Page of Air. So Page's underlying energy is Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Money, job, career. We have now the Air energy that we talked about here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. 
So, you know, th still thinking things through. A lot of this could be having something to do with your work, your job. You need to have a lot of confidence. You need to know that what you know is valued, what you know um, is wanted. You, you know, you could be charging for what you know. You bring a lot of expertise to whatever this is, whatever this work energy is all about, whatever this thought energy is about. The only thing is that the Page of Air brings along its own challenges. It doesn't mean that everything is totally easy as you go through this weekend, but you should have, you know, really, really, um, you know, know that you have what it takes to get through whatever this is all about. This is not bad energy. It's just a little bit. It's like some roadblocks. And you've got, you've got what it takes, my Geminis, to get over those roadblocks. You see your way through those roadblocks. You, you know, you're actually, you're actually seeing your path that much clearer. So the page of air talks about logic, logical, honest, impulsive, and curious. So there's a lot of feminine energy with this one here. Challenging information, delays or change to plans, truth delivered without tact. Whatever this is all about, you, you know, there's like, there's like this total wisdom of getting through and seeing through. Okay, next card. The Eight of Air. Well, this is a breakout moment. This is a time for you to just let go of the shackles and just say, I don't want to be, you know, I, I don't want the strictures anymore. I don't want to be tied up anymore. I am breaking out. I am breaking free. So here we have this eight. Eight is unlimited opportunity, unlimited possibilities. Again, we have air energy. So you've got a lot of the stuff going on with, you know, Aquarius probably has to do with that Saturn that I've talked about. Mars in Gemini, you know, like again, Mars, Aries, Aries, Mars. And, you know, even the Libra energy. There is, you know, you're thinking things through. You're making your plans. Things are happening. But, you know, have confidence because you've really, you have put a lot of energy in these next steps, whatever these next steps are for. And, you know, and so really this King of Fire is very well aware of what needs to be done. And then this Eight of Air is all about breaking through and breaking free. An illusion of being trapped. So if you're feeling trapped, it's all an illusion. A lack of self-confidence. Now, the king of fire is overcoming that, afraid to take action. But remember, the eight, unlimited opportunities and possibilities. And this supersedes a lot of this. Maybe you have been afraid. Maybe the timing hasn't been right. But now it just feels, you know, it feels closer and the timing could be very right right now. Okay, let's see. Higher power, what else would you like to tell our Aries? What else? Yeah, this is a break free type of energy for you. And again, it's it's the last, it's Pisces. We're going into Pisces, the last season of the year, right before yours. It's time to get things done. It's time to clean things up. Okay, let's see what else we might have. Okay. The third eye chakra. So we have a six. So we have an eight, six, six, eight. Six is the number of man. It's the energies you put into something. The third eye chakra, there are basically people talk about the main seven chakras going from the one, which is your root or base and kind of, you know, your grounding chakras going up to your seventh, which is your crown chakra. The third, uh, the third eye chakra is right here. It's your receiving energies. It's the, you know, it's your intuition. Now, the other thing about this is couple of things with the third eye chakra pay attention to it okay listen to your intuition but at the same time there are there's a lot of things happening that's trying to keep us from receiving messages okay self-doubt can do that you know fear can do that negative energies can do that with the page you know like the challenging informations could try to keep you from following your intuitions your intuition trying to keep you from doing what you believe and what you feel is the right thing to do but so you know that's also too there's the pineal gland you know and there's so much about how that's been calcified there's a lot of information about how that has been blocked so keep that keep that opened 
um, work towards opening that. Um, keep the chemicals out of your food, out of your water, things like that. But listen and receive and let things in and really evaluate whether or not, um, you know, that it has merit. And sometimes you just have to do what it did in the overview. Sometimes it just has to be a leap of faith. Okay? So, let's see. Let's see. What else do we have? The angels of abundance. What else would you like to say? What else for our Aquarians? What else for our Aquarians? I'm sorry. I said Aquarians. Aries. What else for our Aries? I don't know if you have Aquarian in your chart, but Aries. What else for our Aries? Probably because of all the air energy, but what else? What else for our Aries? Or is it that Venus went into Aquarian? I don't know. Okay, I'm getting confused. I need to go back to my uh, stuff. Uh, my my overview. That might be. Anyway, what else for our Aries? What else for our Aries? What else is there for our Aries? Here we go. Reversed. Focus on your priority. So it's interesting about the focus and the focus. When you, where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety. Now that could feel that way. Anxiety, unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. Well, that's an interesting. I don't think we've had this one come on. I do not remember seeing that dress before. Anyway, let's see, my Aries, what is this all about? And I have to take a peek. Where is, where is our, uh, our Venus? Did Venus go into Aries or did Venus go into, to go into Aquarius? Hold on a second. No, Venus goes into Aries. Okay, I was wrong. Woo! Sometimes, you know, you, you just, when you're doing this and you're so open, you just start to think, what am I even thinking about? It's just let it flow, you know, let it fly through. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. What crystal or energy do we have that would be good for our Aries? What do we have here? Again, it, you know, a lot of it, it's on focus. And, and if your focus, it, again, this, this one, I think, really has a lot of, this one has a really strong message for you. Your focus is where you receive your outcome. So, okay, let's see what we've got. And that would make sense with the uh, third eye chakra, too. Here we are. Moss, agate, new beginnings, nature connection, animal allies, and security. Interesting with that. I like, I like moss agate. So, anyway, my Aries... Huh, what does it mean? It means you need to stay focused this weekend. Uh, you know, again, to listen to your intuition. Focus, and maybe even focus with your intuition, your third eye. But your focus is your priority. Focus on your priorities. I like that. Okay, take a moment, please, to go down and like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. As always, though, my Aries, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.